Oh, I forgot to mention this too. Um, yeah, Sun Silent tried to kill me and my friend in a car at that too. Yeah. I guess you must be doing something right. That's what people better understand out here. Is that when you stand up for yourself and I could prove that I was being targeted and being attacked. And I've already talked about in a one video about the setups of who set up who to who to who to see this is where I'm trying to get at. You called someone from Lafayette to try to murder me. That's one. Two, a son of silent ran me and my friend off the road trying to kill us. And then three, there was a setup that the son of silent did and the outlaw did set up these kids to set up these police to try to tip murder me. So that's about one, two, three, three times. I could have gotten murdered. You know, that's actually kind of weird. That how many times I can prove I've been targeted, attacked, and people don't like it when I speak up about it. When I try to bring awareness out here, everybody wants to get mad at me. Everybody wants to do this and that. If they're mad at me, then I guess I must be doing something right. It's because people don't like it when I can figure stuff out. And I've already figured out most of the stuff anyways. I've already called out a lot of people who were helping with this situation. But it wasn't just the Mongols. It was a son of silent and an outlaw in the middle of it too. Just like I said... This is really sad that you try to put a hit out on me. That's attempt at murdering. One. Two. Someone tried to kill me and my friend in a car. And then three. They made the police do their dirty work to try to kill me. That's about three times people have attempted murdered me or tried to attempt murder me. I can count how many times people have tried to attempt murder me. And it's not even a game and a joke. This is why people get so frustrated at me. Is because I've called out every person. And every person who was involved with this person. I've already called their names out. I would have to go back to look at how many else were involved. In this too. There was a lot of people I mentioned too. Just like I said. Just no one understand that. There's like three different times. People have tried to attempt murder me. You. Son of Silent. And an outlaw. And then the police. Because the teenagers. Set it up. The cops do it. Because uh. These biker groups wanted to keep their hands clean. But nobody wanted to hear my side of the story. Nobody really wanted to hear me out. I always get ignored when I'm saying I'm literally being targeted. And it's like everybody else can say something. Oh, they're on it. But when I try to say something, I get ignored and then it gets out of control. See, that's what I'm saying though. People really don't know what they're doing or what they got a mess out here, what they've created. They cheerfully don't know what they've done out here. That's what I'm saying though. I do have a right to speak up about how many times people were trying to you know, it's actually been my whole life. People have been trying to kill me off for years that you don't know about. 
That's why when I see something odd, or when I know I'm being targeted, or I know when people are trying to attack me, I always get ignored until it's too late. When something should have been took care of right there and then. And it's kind of funny that later on, I can somewhat back this up to a somewhat degree. And it makes everybody mad that I can. It always does. But it's not their truth. So pretty much they helped out a Mongol, a son of silent woman, and an outlaw woman. They've helped all three different people who did not like me. Who pretty much wanted me dead. And plus that uh, Mongol bitch said something. She was hoping that my ex would have killed me with a pillow years ago. So yeah, I'm dealing with attempted murderers and killers and hit me and hit women's my whole life. I'm not stupid. <laughs> That's what I'm saying though. And it's sad. That you called that person. To attempt murder me. You were involved. In all this. You didn't even know nothing. About these other groups. That's why I said a lot of people got set up. In a really screwed up way to go down. Because all of you were sending everybody at once to me. You didn't know the full story. You didn't know nothing. And that's when people get mad at me. Because I won't. I won't lay down. I'm a different type of person. If I know you're trying to attempt murder me. You're trying to kill me. You're trying to attack me. You're trying to make me a target. I'm going to speak upon it. And it's sad I could prove it. And that's probably where the hit came out in Lafayette, which Dayton and Stockwell, that's probably where that Sharon possibly lives at, somewhere in that area. See, that's what I'm saying, though. A lot of people think they know it all, and they just don't. But it's like whenever I try to say something, I always get ignored. This always cracks me up. And then whenever I do prove it. And then people feel like shit. Because they should have helped me. Right there and then. They always wait until big stuff happens. They ignore it. They let shit get out of control. I get ignored. And then when I do give the proof out. Of what was going on. What was pretty damn accurate. Then guess what. Now they can't do anything about it. That's pretty fucked up. That I knew. I was accurate. Stuff like that. You know this is pretty pitiful. That when I knew something. I always got ignored. And then when I find out myself and I solve my own cases, which that kind of makes people mad too, <laughs> is that I got a bad habit of solving my own cases, meaning I'm just a normal person out here. No help. Maybe a little bit with the information, but not very much. But when I do, I look into stuff. I research a lot of times. This is why people don't fully know nothing. They always want to come in and think, oh, they know something. Oh, they saved the day. Um, they're going to feel like shit at the end of the day. That they didn't know all this was planned out to happen towards me. That's why I said, there's a lot of people that can actually go down for doing this towards me. I can prove that I was being targeted. I can prove that people were coming after me. I can prove it. That's the weird kicker there. See what I mean? And then people want to get mad. They want to talk shit. 
They want to talk outside of the neck. Some people feels like shit because they didn't want to do things properly. They could have actually helped, but they chose to ignore it. And then once I do show proof that I was being attacked and targeted, and then now it's like that people are going to feel like crap. Usually that's what happens. People don't believe me when I say stuff. You know what? People better start believing me what I say. I'm not just saying it for my fucking health. You know? This type of stuff, I speak upon for reasons. This is why I make documentaries about the patterns. This is why I speak up so I don't get murdered. So I don't get attempted murdered. Or... I don't have somebody trying to kill me. And then these people. Gets all stupefied. Or they get mind blown. Of how. How they get caught. See that's what I'm trying to say though. A lot of people likes to ignore me. You know by now. People should realize what I'm saying. I'm saying it for a reason. I'm saying it to, you know, bring awareness out here of what is going on. Do I like to do this? No. But I will keep documents that people ignored me again for, I don't know why, but I got ignored. Like people just brush it off and thought it was nothing there when there really was something there. This is what I can't understand. Is that why can't people accept of what I understand of what is going on? There is a lot of things that people think they know it all. But this is the thing now. They didn't know anything about the other two being involved. And that's what I'm saying, though. This is a lot of proof that I was bringing awareness out there about. And I got ignored completely. People are a robot to society. I'm not. I'm not a robot to society. If I see something, hear something, like some people prefers people just be the norm. No, I'm not the norm. If I think something is not correct or I feel something's off, I'm going to speak upon it. See, this is why people don't want you to make documentaries. Is because once you make documentaries, then you're pretty much going to make people look stupid out here. That you were somewhat accurate. You were speaking the truth. That people should have not ignored you. There's been so many times I have said stuff out of protection and people just ignored it and then something bad happens towards me. And then after it happens, then it's like, you know, this is why I keep documents for pretty much a paper trail to prove that people... Don't listen to me. That I always get ignored. To a somewhat degree. When I speak upon something. When I feel like something is off. So I can prevent. This stuff from happening. I'm trying to help. Myself. But how can I. When society. Wants to sit there. And ignore you, not hear you out, and not want to look into things. This is what happens. And people like us out here that solves our own cases, eventually does our own research and figures things out on our own. We do much better out here because we know that we're not going to be listened to. Nobody wants to hear anything. So guess what? When we feel 
like we got to take it into our own hands this is this is actually what we do and this is actually what we mean it's usually better if you find out on your own is because you know you're correct you know you're accurate and you knew what you were saying it's just the people he wants to sit there and be so in denial that <sighs> proof don't lie all right when it comes to this stuff at all that's what i'm trying to say though this is what's keeping me alive is by speaking up so at least people knows just in case if something does happen they're well aware who to blame and who go to and who to go towards and get answers out of people this is why i speak up too i don't speak up because i enjoy this i speak up for my protection I speak up for my safety reasons. And this pisses off a lot of people, which I don't give a fuck if this makes you mad or not. I have a habit of sharing this stuff, talking about this stuff for a good reason. And I think it's helped to prove by now that pretty much when something does go wrong and I don't get helped out here, then it's the society's issue. There's something wrong with the justice system at this time. There is something wrong with everything out here. And that's the only thing I could think of is that... You just gotta, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is what we mean by taking stuff into our own hands. We're gonna find out. And not go towards people. We usually get answers. And then eventually it ticks off the justice system. is because they don't understand why are you not going towards the law. Because we don't trust you <laughs> anymore. Because you don't listen to us. You always wait until we get in trouble. You're always trying to pin something. You knew people were feeling distress. You know somebody was being bothered. You knew how it affects a person. That's not really doing your jobs at all. It's not. When you make people feel like they got to be their own detective, we do much better. That we don't have to have the help of, like, this is actually what's really frustrating is that <laughs> the law doesn't have time to really do research like we do ourselves. Because they got everything thrown at them, thrown at them. They don't take the time to sit and be on a subject for a very long time. They don't look into things. They always think they know everything when they don't. And then they can get themselves in trouble for getting involved in some that they don't know about. This is why I prefer what I'm doing and I think it's very helpful because this can actually help someone else who is possibly having, you know, issues. This is why I share my experiences so that maybe if someone is having like difficulties with something, then they also know how to catch this too. You know, there is nothing wrong of trying to, you know, let people know that you can be your own researcher. That you can find stuff out by yourself. You don't always need help. You know what I mean? And I think I've proven it for a very long time. That people should listen. But then again. 
I'm always the bad person. Like, apparently, at this point, you would think by now, everything I've shown, everything I've had my suspicions on, is coming out to the light to be truthful. And nobody wanted to listen at the time. Because everybody thinks they know it all, but they don't. I know when danger is near. I know when someone's trying to pull something like this. And it's because they're just mad because I speak up. And when you start speaking up, these people will try to shut you up. That is the biggest thing. Is that once you are talking, you are documenting, you are keeping a paper trail, you are, you are doing a case. These people don't realize how long I've been doing cases of finding out stuff. And then plus, somewhat of corrupted police officers don't want to help me. I've also proven that too over the years. I've already did a video about that. But like I said... When you do speak up, you're doing something right. When these people want to talk smack, you're doing something right. If you are somewhat trying to bring awareness out there and people are trying to make you a robot and you're not a robot, you're doing something right. You're making a change and they can't stand it. That you are a different type of breed out here. They don't like it. That you're a type of breed where you have a backbone. You know, you stand on what you know and you're not going to let people confuse you on it. This is where people get mad at me. I don't care. Let them get mad at me. Because I must be doing something right. And the reasons why these people get upset is because when you're speaking, you make a documentary... Like I said, I got all the names who was involved with that woman right there. I have all their names who was involved with her. And then they can also go down by hiring that hit woman who threatened to kill me. And then plus, not just the Mongol being involved... There was a son of silent and an outlaw involved in this. There was three different bikers who had a part in trying to kill me for years. They don't realize what type of a mess they've made for their lives. That pretty much I see it as catching murderers, tempting murderers. And killers. And it's not hard to catch. Yes. This this type of stuff of getting proof like this is hard. Yes it is. I'm not going to lie to you. But if you're smart about it. You know what you're doing. You can also. Know this stuff too. This is a different type of breed. That society hates out here when you make documentaries you are expressing what you know you're trying to bring awareness this can actually help someone who is struggling and they don't like it when you're helping others out here who can do this too you know what i mean it always makes them mad and then it makes the justice system mad because they don't understand you're just one person. How do you know all this stuff? And then that's when they get ridiculous with it. Why is there a fire truck going by? Goodness gracious. Usually that means a warning. That's a warning sign. Not for me, though. But just like I said, 
all this stuff that I can prove, you would think by now people would actually take me serious of what I'm saying or what I'm talking about by now. But no, people wants to sit there and try to confuse me, try to tell me I'm this and that. Come to find out they're going to look dumb for not believing me. Seems to happen like that all the time. You know, it's almost like I told you so. It doesn't matter of what scenario you are in. If you have a gut feeling or intuition, you know someone's doing something towards you, speak up. It makes these people mad. Is because these people thought they were slick. And some of them have showed they're not very smart out here. To a somewhat degree. But it makes people want to back off. It makes people not want to fuck with you. And that's what I'm saying though. It makes them mad. And then eventually. Once you've proven this. Over the years. How like you know how to do this stuff. It makes people not want to fuck with you. It's going to make them where they don't want to even be around you. Eventually, they'll just run away from you. Eventually, these type of people will try to cower out and say they had nothing to do with it. They're going to try to lie to get out of it. But they can't. They know they can't. They've already did it. They've already done it. It's there. Forever. And the ancestors have seen a lot. Of what these people have done. Who was helping. At that too. Just like I said. This helps. Yourself. You're saving your own life. By speaking up. Some people don't realize this. Some people. Takes it in a different way. But I see it as. If you are in a situation. And you know something is trying to happen you've seen patterns you can kind of know what's going on eventually these people are going to get intimidated by you and eventually they're going to want to run the fuck away from you it's what happens and then eventually you become the person to where they say oh nope 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 I won't recommend you fucking with him or her. Nope, I don't recommend it. Mm -mm, Nope, you keep me out of it. I've also heard those scenarios too out in the grapevine, once in a great blue moon. That people knows better. Because they don't feel like me. Like, there's a lot of people that knows how accurate I've been by calling certain people out. On a very dangerous level. That pretty much nobody should know. Like the unknown, the unhidden. That scares that scares the crap out of humans. When you know too much. It's called experience. When you know what you're doing, you're very intelligent. You've seen it, you know what you're doing. You're always gonna get answers. Regardless. Eventually these type of people. Are going to fuck off. And back off eventually. Because they really don't feel like. Going to prison or jail. If they keep it up. Some of them are not that dumb enough. To keep it up. Once you know. Who they called. Where their locations at. Eventually people are going to. Back off you. And not fuck with you ever again or unless they're going to be the dumb type to where they do want to fuck around find out then that's on them but just like I said this should prove by now that I was targeted that people were attacking me too much at once and it got ignored but just like I said it's kind of you know sad I can prove it And everybody looked at it, but they couldn't see it because they're asleep to it. 
not everybody was asleep to it. And everybody shocked that I'm still alive and not dead. Because that type of stress level can actually hurt your health. It can. But, you know, this world is going to teach you stuff. And then it freaks these people out even more. When you know their location, you know who they are, and you know how to look them up. These people eventually will back off and never mess with you again. Eventually. I was always taught, get to their level, go lower than them, go really low. Like, sometimes you have to match their energies to get people to back off of you. And I'm pretty sure that some people does not like that. When you match their energy, but you're way worse about it, they will get scared of you, intimidated by you, to where they have nothing to do with you. They will be scared of you, terrified of you, and never mess with you again. It just takes a while. And you have to stay firm. You have to stay strong. You have to know how to deal with these type of morons out here. You're going to have to understand how to deal with all their tactics. Now do you see how the role switch? They're trying to intimidate, right? They're trying to whatever, blah, blah, right? And then once they have it thrown back at them, it scares the shit out of them. They don't like that. That's what happens. When you constantly target a person, target and attack someone constantly, all the time, you're going to push something out of someone where you're going to wish you never did. That's how it's got to be. Just speak your truth and the rest will follow. Apparently, if these people didn't want to get caught, don't do it towards me. Apparently, if you don't want me speaking, don't do it in the first place because I'm going to speak upon it regardless. That's what they need to understand. If you didn't want me to speak upon this, then you should have never done it in the first place. That's how I look at it. But just like I said. If you got documents and they don't realize this. They don't. That I have documents of groups coming after me before. How they act. How they do. Who they got a hold of. I've already experienced so many people in groups coming after me. It's not even funny. My whole life. Even when I was a child, I had people coming after me and I didn't know why. That's what I'm trying to say, though. That's why you should leave good-hearted people alone. Because eventually, that good-hearted person probably be your worst fucking nightmare to ever come alive. You would be surprised what you push out of people. And you're pretty much pushing people of not giving a fuck and not fearing you and then eventually they're gonna run and scatter and that's what usually happens the role switch eventually but just like i said i thought i would say this real quick they get mad at me all they want but i've had a lot of experiences of hit mans and hit womans trying to be sent to me, people trying to kill me my whole life. You ain't the first ones to do it. You ain't probably gonna be the last to do it either. I know this stuff. I can sense this stuff. I know violence. Just like I said, you gotta be firm. 
with these people. These people want you to back down and lay down. And when you show these people, you're not going to lay down and take what they do or disrespect you. They freak out pretty badly. And that's what you're pretty much going to have to be. You're going to have to boss up in a way that it might shock some people out here from time to time. Oh, and also, well, there was a knife threat towards me. And then I also had a threat if somebody wanted to shoot me. So just like I said, the list keeps going on and on and on and on. I don't think I have to speak anymore. That it's getting ridiculous. You people ain't doing nothing new to me. You're just racking up your own karma. And God's got a lot of your receipts ready for you. It's stacked high to the heavens. And whoever else of accomplices you have. That's also going to be God's receipts right there. I'm going to know about it. I'm going to hear about it. So like I said, if you don't want me speaking up, don't fucking do it towards me. Don't be a predator towards me. I hate that shit. If you're going to attack me, I'm going to speak upon it. If you're trying to send people in groups to come after me, I'm going to speak upon it. If you're trying to kill me, I'm going to talk about it. If you're trying to murder me or attempt murder me, I'm going to talk about it. And pretty much you just helped murderers right here. All three of them. That's been trying to kill me for years. You didn't know that. So that's nice to know. That you've helped out murderers and people who's been trying to attempt murder me with others for years. That's really nice to know. So just like I said, I'm going to let karma and my ancestors take care of it. Because half of them are mad at some of these people. And I'm going to let them do whatever they want. They're getting tired of it. And God and my ancestors know the truth. That's all that matters. He knows all and sees all. So does the ancestors. At this point. But just like I said. I think I'm going to go and get off here. And I shall talk to you guys later.